Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to what was on sale at the grocery store. So, this is August, August 2023. Um, January 2023, shrimp was on sale at the grocery store, frozen shrimp. So I bought a bunch, uh, bought a few bags and I stuck them in the freezer here and you know what, completely forgot about them. Looked in the freezer today and said, I've still got all this shrimp in the freezer. I should do something with it. So today I'm going to make a little bit of an appetizer. Um, and when I opened up the bag, there were two different kinds of shrimp in the bag. Maybe that's why it was on sale. So I've got this cast iron pan, put it on uh, sort of medium heat, and I'm going to splash in the pan some olive oil. And so I've got some garlic fresh from the garden. So I'm going to squeeze that in. I don't really want to fry the garlic. I just want to get the flavor into the oil. So I'm not browning the garlic. I'm just infusing the oil with the flavor. And so this is some of the garlic. Uh, I haven't cleaned it all up yet, but it's downstairs drying out. And uh, we've got more garlic than we're going to be able to use this year for sure. So next in, I've got some red pepper flakes. This is an idea that I, I play around with over and over and over again. Um, if you go back, probably 2020, there's a similar recipe that I did where I flamed it with tequila. Really easy to do simple preparations with shrimp. So in go the shrimp. And you just want to saute them until they're just barely cooked, really doesn't take much. I'm sure you all know how to cook shrimp. It's pretty simple. Okay, the shrimp is just about cooked. I'm gonna go in a little bit of salt. Tiny little bit of smoked paprika, just cause why not? And a couple of glugs of sherry. Just a couple of glugs. That should be good. Stir that around and then you just want to bubble that and reduce the sherry by half. So once that reduces a little bit, I'm going to put in some butter because butter will make the sauce nice and silky smooth. So we melt that in. Okay, so we just stir that in as it melts. To this, I'm just gonna zest a little bit of lemon to brighten up the flavor a little bit. And sprinkle in some parsley or cilantro, depending on what you like. And we'll just toss that one last time and we're ready to serve. And that's it, that's it, that's all, it's done. Um, that's it, it's done. Well, I'm here just in time. Hey, Jules. Hey, friends. Hey, Glenn. Uh, a couple of forks, I guess. All right. That smells really good. Always does. I'm going to serve it with some crusty bread. Uh, Ooh, for dipping? For dipping, because the sauce is great. But you could definitely put this over polenta or rice or... But Any really, it's a... Or am I just going to snack right out of the bowl? Snack right out of the pan. If you do it in a really nice pan, you can bring the pan to the table as, you know, the serving. Mm. Glenn really likes shrimp. Oh, I love I shrimp. I don't know if he's ever told you this. <laughs> I love shrimp. You can see his little dance of joy there. That dipping's good though. Mm-hmm. I could eat all of the shrimp. That, that. Yes, he can. That hit of lemon zest at the end really brightens it and makes it so fresh. The lemon is lovely. So fresh. But there's a lot of other flavors in there. Yes. Ooh, hot. I did this with shrimp, but just as easily, if you just up the liquid a little bit, you could be steaming mussels in exactly the same liquid. Yes, you could. You could be doing mussels, patonk. <laughs> Patonk. 
I love Patonk. Patonk would be really good in this. Yes, he does. I <laughs> love Patonk. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, on sale, freezer burnt shrimp, forgotten in the bottom of the freezer for a little while. And it brings a big smile to my face. It's something that's easy to save. Easy. Easy to save. This is an easy appetizer to put out at the beginning of a dinner party or just for dinner on a Thursday night. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.